Hey, when I run into my friends from Bohemian Grove on the street, invariably the conversation goes to interconnect cables. So today I'm going to compare eight interconnect cables from $20 to $150. You may wonder if interconnect cables make a difference in sound quality. Yes, they do. I'm right and you're wrong. Starting with the darkest, world's best cable, Megami 2497 with eminence locking plugs. Second from the darkest, Supra EFFI with FuruTech locking plugs. And coming up soon on my review channel, these handmade interconnects. They're made with tape and solid silver wire and some fancy connectors on the end of them. And I'll let you know if they're good, bad, or just plain ugly. These ones I like, they're third from the darkest, but they are revealing of the whole frequency range. Uh, a little pricey. AudioQuest, Big Sur. These far and away are my favorite budget pick. They are Canary L4E6S wires and Reen plugs. The Amphenol plugs are just as good, but the Reen fit into spaces that the Amphenols do not, and they are Cheap as dirt and they're made by world's best cables. Also they are directional and that's because I believe they have one wire um, that is grounded or shares the ground on one end but does not share the ground on the other end so that does magic. Okay next up are pricier cables and you're probably if your system is under like a thousand or two thousand dollars you're not gonna really hear a difference between these cables, which are more like 150, and the uh, Canary cables I just showed you, which are more like 20, 25. Uh, these are Kimber Cable Hero Ultra Plate uh, connectors, or with Ultra Plate connectors. Uh, they are definitely the coolest name, but, um, you know, and they're good. Like I said, y y you have to have a pretty nice system to justify spending this much on inter interconnect. Okay, so more world's best cables, and these are a bit brighter. And so what I learned from this exercise is, because these have the same Mogami 2497 wire as some of the darker cables, the ones with the eminence interlocking connectors, but these are considerably brighter. In my mind, that means that the connectors make a big impact on uh, the brightness of the cable. This one is using KLEI. Uh, copper harmony connectors, which uh, th there's very little metal in them, uh, as opposed to the locking connectors, which seem to have more metal in their construction. And I noticed the two darkest cables had locking interconnects, and uh, this brighter cable, using the same wire as a darker cable, is considerably brighter. In fact, it almost seemed as if it made my system louder, which I know is a trick of perception, but um, interesting. And the brightest are AudioQuest Chicago. I didn't like these cables in my solid state setup, but the tube setup I'm using now, they're very good. So I would say the winner of the semifinals, I'm going to pick the, um, the Kimber Cable Heroes, the Canary um, L46ES, whatever that is, and these AudioQuest Chicago's. But this is the semifinals. There's a final round. I'm going to compare these to the winners to the um, ones that I made. Uh, and then I have a couple others that have entered the picture um, more recently. So stay tuned. If you want to be the first among your friends to find out who wins the Ultimate Audio Cable Championship, click, click subscribe.